exhibitions that I will always remember fondly is called, was called uh, In the Spirit of the Caribou, and it happened in the fall of 2014. And the caribou has always been a symbol that's been associated with the province and it kind of holds a place in a lot of our hearts. And it's a, besides being a beautiful animal uh, in its own merit. Um, and our gallery director had long wanted to have an exhibition of work that was inspired by the caribou. So we had sent out a call and she had gone and met with many craftspeople who had developed really wonderful work featuring caribou. And then while the exhibition was up, we wanted to have a reception for the Newfoundland Regiment because the caribou is their symbol. And because it, the exhibition was there, was here on the anniversary of the, the trip of the first 500 from the Newfoundland Regiment from uh, by the side of the lake, the Kitty Bitty Lake on the way down to the, to the wharf. And so they would have walked right past Devon House a uh, hundred years ago, so so we had um, we decided we would have a reception to honor the first 500 in the Newfoundland Regiment, and we had invited the regiment, we had invited the lieutenant governor and his wife, and people who worked with Veterans Affairs and other organizations that provided support to military personnel and to families, and, and it was an amazing turnout. There were a lot of people in the gallery. There were there was a beautiful uh, presentation made by Francis Ennis, who's a mat hooker and who had uh, worked very carefully on a piece about the caribou. And she spoke very eloquently about what the caribou meant to her as uh, a Newfoundlander and how she was able to express that through her mat hooking. And it was very moving. And then we had uh, given a piece. Uh, of a mother, a, a ceramic sculpture of a mother caribou and a, and a baby caribou uh, to the Newfoundland Regiment and it's uh, on display in their premises. And so it was just, it was really wonderful to show how craft can connect such two, well on the surface you would think that they're very disparate communities and that there's not really a strong connection between the two. But really, craft can connect almost any two communities, and, and it was it was just a really it was just a really moving, wonderful experience. And, and I hope it's the first of well, it wasn't the first, but it's one of many such experiences that that we've had in this building since we've been here.